Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. It is Motivational Monday. Let's keep our vibrations high. I'm here for it. I'm here to send nothing but intuitive messages from spirit. So if you're new to the channel, what is up? My name's Leela. I'm also a Virgo. I reside in sunny London in the UK. If you'd like to, in the comment section below, let me know where you reside. I'm always intrigued to know my viewers are from. We're going to do an oracle message reading. Hopefully you find it insightful. Please remember to smash the thumbs button. If you do, you can also book me for a personal, catch me for live tarot and follow me on the socials. Six of Swords. The first oracle message. Uh, a lot of, it's a transitional period. A lot of you could be going through a lot of changes right now. Um, a spiritual journey, a spiritual revolution. You could perhaps be going for a transitional period where you're letting go of things from the past that no longer serve you okay it's almost like the worst is over now virgo but you've got to choose to accept that this is the rites of passage energy this talks about moving beyond trauma moving beyond shadows of the past okay some sort of personal journey revolution evolution a spiritual transition help arriving people arriving at the perfect time the universe on your side as always okay so yeah you're doing some healing you're going through some major changes okay things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip okay there may be some travel this week um but definitely a spiritual journey a spiritual transition right now and you are on the right path. So if you've come to this reading thinking, what should I do with my life? It seems like happy times are ahead. It seems like you are a natural born influencer. You influence other people. You may be in the limelight. You may have a talent. The star card definitely talks about wishes being granted. Okay. It says make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You are on the right path. So stick on this vibration. Don't second guess everything that you're going through. Uh, everything that's happening right now is all in order. Is all as it should be. It says spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. So I feel like a lot of you are definitely learning um, what there is to learn about yourself. Knowing maybe that it, you can push harder reminding yourself or remembering that actually I'm gifted I am on the right path I inspire others it's time to inspire myself it's time to embrace all the changes that I'm going through to make me come out on the other side a bit more wiser you know so yeah there's a lot of discovery going on here I think a lot of you are taking some time for yourself going inside listening to that inner voice which is good unity this is a very traditional card taurus energy okay we've got aquarius energy virgo energy and taurus energy so far on the table okay but um again some sort of spiritual experience maybe you're learning lessons right now learning stuff about yourself other people it says traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friend friends it's important to have the right people around you people that think like you people that are on the same vibration the same level as you okay uh, it's a it's a valued card i feel the hyphen energy um, is a very humbled energy okay so you could be feeling very humbled right now this is again new paradigms new ways of thinking uh learning stuff this is about you in service with spirit like doing doing what you know is right okay sticking to your values you're a traditionalist there's a lot of enlightenment here and awakening and and new paradigms new ways of thinking you know you're expanding your your consciousness learning all there is to learn i think like a lot of you may be soaking it up some of you may feel misjudged you may feel a black and outsider different from everybody else a different cut of cloth and that's okay it's okay to be unique nothing wrong with that king of cups 
King of Cups is a very supportive energy, somebody that is mature with regards to their emotions. It says, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Um, so again, there's this love, this compassion. I feel like a lot of you are well respected. This could be someone in your life that you see as this type of person. What well, it's saying, open your heart and your mind to those around you, becoming more aware, more aware of yourself, opening up your heart, opening up your mind, being more aware of those around you as well. This is about trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Maybe, you know, having conversations, um, that you can trust in, that you can listen to and, and take heed of and take the advice that you're given, perhaps this week with regards to your emotions, okay? So yeah, I feel like some of you may be getting some, some advice this week, if not from somebody else, from yourself. King of Wands, the King of Wands is all about action. The King of Wands is always on the move. The King of Wands is self-disciplined, assured, self-assured, okay, gets what they want in life, it says focus, 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 communicate with vision, and be a leader, advice from someone creative, so there's big advice energy here, like I see maybe there's going to be a conversation this week that is going to be fruitful in some way, so take take heed of, of, of listening, justice card, fair and just decisions, do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. This is about quality. This is about honest conversation. Uh, but again, going back to this King of Wands, focus, focus, focus. Focus on whatever it is that you need to focus on. It says communicate with vision. So not only talk it, but vision it. Believe in it. Believe in yourself. It says take charge. This is like, it says, and be a leader, taking charge of your life. Whatever it is that you've got to do. Ten of Swords, the end of a difficult situation, Virgo, embrace the change and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction, whether it's an addiction to drugs, food, a person, a way of living, there's big changes coming your way, it's almost like, yeah, you are stepping into something very new and powerful, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry, pause, reflect, see how far you've come, your hard work does pay off, so yeah, seeds well planted, there's something here that is growing, it may have slowed down, you may be worrying about it, you may find it hard to make a decision of how to move forward, just sit tight, hold on tight, and, um, and see how very far you can come. A complex decision, the need to do research and stop procrastinating. Big, 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 big Virgo energy. You may be feeling confused. Shall I do this? Shall I do that? Not wanting to make the wrong choice. Okay. But it says, um, I'm sure it said something about choices here. You know, you have to plan. Um, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So there's this determined energy despite anything. And I feel like July definitely is shouting out to me. Um, the next two months, you guys are really going to take heat of certain things and you're going to continue to move forward. You, you should be recognized for how far you've come. Any more messages for Virgo? So yeah, just, um... Take the time to 777. Go look up the number 777. It's shouting out at me. It's been shouting out at me, actually. Um, take the time out for yourself. Take the time to look at this. Seven of Wands. Remember who you are, what it is that you want. It's important to um, display self-discipline and willpower right now. Willpower. The will, the power to continue on no matter what. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand up, stand your ground and choose your battles wisely. Choose your battles wisely. Not everything needs to be procrastinated, overthinked. You just got to continue to move forward. You are on the right path. You're going through some major changes right now. So be kind to yourself and, and continue on, on this vibration. All right. 
Ten of Cups, and this is this is the outcome. I'm guessing a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. It's okay to trust. Put your family first. This is about feeling contented, feeling happy, feeling feeling rich, whether you've got money or not. Okay, inside emotionally. Like I feel like everything is gonna turn out well for you Virgo everything happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself you know what it is you bring to the table what you're capable of you, you you're able to choose to be happy we all are which choose to be happy rather than sad or whatever this is the yes card this is joy's confidence this is a love of life. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study, learning new things. You know, sometimes when we get a bit, ah, things are going to, a bit too easy. You want to challenge yourself. We've got good news coming here with regards to money. You've, you've come into your own Virgo. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. And that is definitely the energy of this oracle reading so i'm gonna leave it there hopefully you enjoyed that reading please remember to smash the thumbs button friggin love you guys be kind to others as i always say but most importantly be kind to you take care works